Can I do the intro for today's video? Yeah. I, I feel like I have an intro today, and you always do the intros, but I want to do it. Oh, yeah, take it away, lad. Can we start with a round of applause? <laughs> Will's finally doing the screen recording himself, the lazy... What? They don't know what the difference is. And you said in the first 10 seconds. Sorry, okay, well, we can redo it. You're never doing the intro again. Right, hello, welcome back to Will and Jim Watch Today. We're watching a program called First dates. So James, how are you feeling about this today? I am going to make it my job to make sure this video does not get monetized. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the ensuing chaos, everyone. Let's get it. Tonight, the First Dates restaurant oh, yeah, welcomes okay. hopeful singletons from all over the country. Well, if you said, look, right, we're going to get these to monetize. Let's start with wardrobe malfunction on first date. All right, so we're going to insult them. What do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, oh, a in... malfunction means like a tit spills out, not that they just wear dodgy clothes. Yeah, I thought we were just going to call them ugly. Get a few, like, scathing physical comments in there. This is Lucy. And she's fucking ugly. <laughs> James! <laughs> this is Lucy, part-time nanny, part-time weightlifter. <laughs> That's a pleasant mix. I bet there's not much of like a Venn diagram crossover there. Yeah, she just spends her time lifting children. <laughs> just in bed to present the infants. I think I'm sweet, but in a naughty way. <laughs> I turn everything into a sexual innuendo. In your endo. <laughs> oh, f off. That was shocking. That was, hang on, hang on, hang in on. In your endo? Innuendo. In your endo. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah, but no, she she didn't say the word correctly. It's innuendo, not induendo. It's more the fact that she's cracking jokes like a seven-year-old. Ah, crack. Okay, so this is my snatch. Thank you. I would really love somebody that is interested in Olympic weightlifting, or even if we've got the gym in common, that would be great. How tall, how tall are you? Four foot eleven. Could you lift me? I mean, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, no. I think perfect match for George. Put four foot eleven. She'd eat him alive, mate. Does have a thing for blondes though. And tight snatches. Where do you want me? How do you want me? Okay, you stay there. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine, right? You go in the restaurant on your first date with a lass, and she's. It got a Heimlich manoeuvre around some bloke's ass at the bar. If you were walking in, you'd see it from the back. And from the back, that's looking pretty odd. I don't think it's. I, do, I honestly don't think it's that impressive to lift people up. I've always felt like lifting people up is not a hard thing to do. Yeah, because you're the size of a giant, mate. <laughs> yeah, no. Then again, I am Hagrid. I'm looking for a girl that wants a relationship. You know, wants that to develop. She looks like the um, pre-evolution of the other girl. <laughs> what? Like she'd be more taller than the other one's <laughs> plus. <laughs> yeah. She's my choke and the other one's my champ. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. They both look like they touch, teach, um... <laughs> no, no, not touch. Don't, they don't look... So, what, so do you do anything like, are you a gym goer? God, straight in there. First question she asked is, do you go gym? Cut to the good shit, man. Jesus Christ, surely there's other priorities to get out there. Yeah, yeah I go to the gym a lot. Um, how about you? Um, oh, Olympic weightlifting? Oh, f it, it took her so... It's like a little buzzword. She's just waiting to... She was just sat there waiting for it to pop out. Olympic! That wasn't even an answer to the question. What's the difference between weightlifting and Olympic weightlifting? Right, so you've got weightlifting, and then you add the adjective Olympic, and it would imply that it is at the Olympic level. So she's, what, she's really good at weightlifting? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Usually on dates, I will challenge a girl to an arm wrestle because I'm oh! just really strong. Look at her, she's frothing. <laughs> oh, this could not, I thought, right, when they sat down, zero chemistry, couple of gym questions, they've hit it off. These are a lot of going home together. Here? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that worked. Your, your top's broke. Oh, well, yeah. It's I mean... actually, oh! it's actually, it's actually, oh my God, my, oh my God, oh my God. Hey. I'd put money on them still being together now. I feel like I'm watching an intimate moment. Yeah, no, can we get invited to the wedding? What's gayer than arm wrestling your date on a date? Sucking a dick. That's facts. <laughs> I'm seeing that awkward moment when you get matched with your ex. Yeah, let's get it. 47 year old mum, Emma, is a seasoned dater. Well, is she covered in sage? Do you want to explain the joke? What, what about Sage? What's the joke this time? <laughs> it referred to her as a seasoned data. So I said she covered in Sage. <laughs> I love being a mum. I think I'm still a young mum. She don't look 47, like. No, she's doing well, mate. I look 47 and I'm 23, so. I'm 47. You know, I don't always want to be the one that goes out with other She looks brilliant for 47. You know what it is? Emma, I'd have you. It, what, what? Hmm? 
What are you saying? I'm... Sorry, you. Uh, I think you made a point. I mean, if you said something, I'm... No, no, you, you go first. All right, well, I, I think the youth comes from the t-shirt. You rarely see 47-year-olds wearing t-shirts like that. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that is an element of youth. Yeah. What you, What did you say? I just said I'd sling one up. Uh. Right, okay. So I suppose you have to be quite selective when you're looking for a guy, then. Yeah, you have to drip feed someone in, don't you? The cum. Shut up, man. <laughs> Do you know what, right? They're coming out, right? <laughs> Because the only way you'll stop if it doesn't make it in the video, Michael, from now on, any cum jokes, don't make it. <laughs> Do not even eat the cum. Come on, that's brilliant. I attract women that like confident men. I hold myself well. I dress well. I smell well. Smell well. Just got a brilliant, yeah, sense of smell. <laughs> Comes in the door. Fucking... She's here. I can sense that she's here. A young lady came up to me on the beach in Portugal. She just said, you're exactly what I'm looking for in a man. And, uh... My friend standing next to me said, you mean he's a, uh, a messed up, divorced, drunk granddad. <laughs> and I had to put him correct. I said, I'm a grand lad, not a granddad. Oh, oh, yes. That's, oh, oh yes. Oh, mm. oh, oh, oh. Let's uh, reload it. Reload the ting. <laughs> a grand lad. I had to put him correct. I said, I'm a grand lad, not a granddad. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, other grand lads include Wayne Lineker. Yep. Harrison Ford, he's a grand lad. Oh, he's a grand lad, yeah. Josh Zerker. I can't believe it. We've dated. No, you are it's kidding me. Yeah, you know how fucking deep his voice was. Oi, 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 oi. It's like a crocodile. Have they got deep voices? Crocodiles. I can't speak. Guy tells date to leave before main course. Oh, I like the look of that one. Mad, 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 mad. They say, but you're done over yet, no? Sorry. We're gonna forget subtitles on this. What was that? Yeah, no, I was gonna say I was gonna turn to you for a translation, if I'm honest. This ain't been your dinner over yet, no. <laughs> I, 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 what can pirate speak is that? This ain't been your dinner over yet, no. Fuck knows. Have they brought your dinner over yet? No. I like black men. I don't know why. I like black and mixed race men. It's because I really want to be mixed race. So I put so much fake tan on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit. <laughs> That's not aged well. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, <laughs> crack on. I do have a high sex drive, definitely. Did they have it down on the questions to ask her? So she just blurted it out with, I've got a fucking love shaggy. Yeah, he's just like, how are you? I do have a high sex drive, yeah. <laughs> when I dance, start having an orgasm. What did he say about his dance? I think he said that dancing was like an orgasm. When I dance, start having an orgasm. Is it? I feel the same when I make commentary videos, if I'm honest. Vet explains how she helps horses reproduce. Let's get it. My job doesn't feel like work. Like I'm up at half six every morning. I'm working in a neckbone hospital in Clare Galway. And we do AI, we AI all the mares. So we collect semen off the stallions and... So she's a professional horse wanker. Wait, she started that by saying it doesn't feel like a job. Yeah, it's just so fun. I do it in my spare time anyway. Do it with my mouth sometimes. Oh my God. Like I don't love the wanking part, but I love my job in general. She clearly does like the wanking part. The fact that she refers to it as wanking. We have an artificial vagina that we hold. So we hold it and we put the dick in it and then he rides it. And there's a bottle at the end that collects all the semen. <laughs> so you flesh like a horse. That's your job. It's not really first date crack, is it? But then when else would you tell someone that you do yeah, that? Yeah, I suppose get out of the way early, you know, come clean. Why did you apply to first date? Oh, well, my mother applied on my behalf, but... Bollocks. My mum applied for us. That's like, oh, ask a lass out on like MSN and be like, oh, sorry, it was me mate. If they rejected you. Why Why on uh, First Dates Island do they have uh, what their name would be if they were a woman next to their actual name? <laughs> when you fancy the waitress. Come on, yeah? Let's get it. This is not what I'd normally do, though. On a date, I think I did something else. Like walking through a gallery is pretty chill. And this is coming from me, right? He seems like a posh, smarmy, and that's coming from me. Someone that can prove to me. She just come off at the USS Enterprise. This is my date's birthday tomorrow. Do you not have to have any candles or anything here, do you? Yeah, of course. We'll sort it out. Thank you. I like a Welsh accent, you know. It's quite warm, isn't it, a Welsh accent? But well, you want to go on a date with them. It's because <gasps> oh it's my your God, birthday. I'm <laughs> the gentleman has oh arranged a little birthday surprise. So this is going pretty well, but the title says rejection. Yeah, no, I'm interested to see where this goes. That's a really nice thing to do for someone, I think. And she seems well up for it. This is going to go sour. I'm, I'm here. I do fancy it. A lot. <laughs> oh, he seems lovely. Look, will you just back off this bloke, please? All right, I'm sorry, man. Oh, I like his accent. Oh, that's a kind thing. Oh, he's lovely. Okay, no, sorry. Come on, you've got to respect greatness. Well, fine, mate. If you're out there, I've got the one for you. 
put it down. It's your birthday. Put it down. <laughs> that was like manly. <laughs> put it down. <laughs> Would you guys like to see each other again? Can I go first? Go for it. Okay. I don't think this is for me. That's, that's it. Like, I, yeah. I just don't feel that spark. Get in, Jim Bowie. It's all yours. Yeah, no, I'm, I feel gutted for him, though. I just don't know how his glasses are floating. Oh, yeah, how's he done that? He's just got them positioned in between his massive yeah. fucking pegs. <laughs> his pegs just <laughs> squish them in. There you go. I, oh, well, obviously, I would have liked to see you again, but don't feel awkward. Okay. Because I'm, I'm glad I've met you. Because it's you're a lovely person. And I hope you do find someone you get that spark with. Thanks. Oh, come on, boy. He's a nice bloke. I'm with you. I'm with you. Sorry, I'm man. Oh, come on. Like, get your cock out. Get your cock out. All right, out, okay. Man. Well, like, that's the end of this episode of Will and Jim. Like, if you have enjoyed, please do subscribe to us both. Uh, like the video. I want to suck his dick, we, Will. I don't know what he's saying. Will, let me suck his dick. Later.